some of you know that I recently purchased some, well, 10 acres in New Mexico, Red Hill, New Mexico area, uh, uh, Comado, close to Springerville, Arizona, right, in, right there. And, um, you know, I was asking God about it, praying about it, looking, searching. Uh, when I found this particular property, I felt connection to it. And I asked God for a sign, not that I'm asking for a sign as an unbeliever, but just a sign. Should I should I buy it? It's something that would indicate. Well, I knew God had already spoke to me when I went to look at it by myself for a second time and walked the property. And uh, he had already spoke to me about it. And um, I was shown the property... Uh, by the neighbor, but in that midst of walking it, that property for a second time, I found something um, that I don't, I didn't really. I just I thought it was interesting. This rock here, as you can see, which I believe to be a jasper stone. Now, as I'm looking on the internet, oops, <laughs> as you can see here, beautiful red rock. I thought it might be a piece of pottery, or I don't know. But looking online. It appears to be a jasper stone. Okay. Um, I put it in my pocket, put it in my backpack, took it home, and today looking at this, this jasper stone, excuse me, jasper is listed in the book of Revelation, and it is included in the relationship to God's appearance on his throne. Behold, a throne was set in heaven, and with, there was one who was sitting on the throne. And he who was sitting was in appearance like a jasper stone. Revelation 4, 1 through 3. This is also the priest, the high priest breastplate material. I don't know y'all if this is from the Lord. But I asked him for a sign. And uh, I mean he already told me in my heart. But I just want to share this with you. Um, God is amazing. And He's awesome. And I love Him. And praise the Lord for this little stone. Thanks for watching. God bless you, my friends.